Yo guys, in today's video I'm gonna be making the tutorial on the beat shakes that if I hit 120 subs I will be making a tutorial on that and you guys showed really really good support and um, so yeah I'm gonna be making that today um, first you wanna go, I have uh, the project file linked in the description um, you, wanna, you wanna download it of course um, then you wanna open it um, then uh, you just still wanna let it open right once you get in here um, you wanna um, I have the master right here um, so like this is the beat shake so you wanna uh, create a new bin right here uh just uh call it whatever you want like like that just go in here uh you, once you ha if you don't see it you just want to go into view and show power bits you want to have that checked um you want to go into master you want to select it and then you want to drag it down to this so it's in here now this means that this hard impact thing will be in all your projects because these uh, power bins sh show in all your projects so like it, they won't just disappear alright so once you're in a in a project and you wanna add a beat shake like right here because there's a beat and yeah you wanna add a marker and then you wanna go in here to your um the power bin that we just created and just drag in the hard impact so after this it's gonna look weird cause yeah I don't know it doesn't so you wanna go two frames back like that and that that's pretty much it like you just wanna catch your color I'll put real quick and something you can do is just go down here and set this at the end to one so it doesn't look weird so wait for this line to turn uh, turn blue so it look like s looks like this now so then you transition and just kind of like it right now but you can you can sense it like there's a B shape right there that's really good. This is, by the way, one of my client's montages. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. That's how you use the PGX. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.